that my word choice was extremely degrading and disrespectful uh, to women. And to be honest, that was not my intention. And if you are a person who took offense to what I said, I sincerely apologize to you. Uh, I'm a man who tries to be a positive role model in my community and tries to use my platform to inspire others. And I own, I, I take ownership to everything that comes with that. And what I did was extremely unacceptable. Um, I'm a father to two beautiful daughters. And at their age, I try to instill in them that they can do and be anything that they want to be. Uh, and the fact that during this whole process, I've already lost sponsors and countless fans. I realized that the joke is really on me. And I've learned a valuable lesson from this. And to the, the, the young people who see this, I hope that you learn something from this as well. Um, don't be like me, be better than me. And to the reporters, to the journalists, to the moms, super moms, to the daughters, the sisters, and the women all around the world, I sincerely apologize and hope that you can find the kindness in your heart to forgive me. Thank you. Shannon, what's your reaction to Cam's apology? I'm happy that he made it. It seemed like he put a lot of thought in this. This was weighing on him. Skip, it's really hard to know what's in a person's heart and what's in his mind. I can't cut Cam yeah. open I'm to see you. if he's sincere in his heart and false or pure. Yep. Um, yesterday I said I wish Cam would have just said, ma'am, I'm sorry. Um, you took offense to what I said. I apologize. You mean but, when they were yeah, face when, to face? Yes, yes. When yeah. she came, when she mm -hmm. talked to him after mm -hmm. he made the comments after the press conference was over, she said she engaged Cam afterwards. And, just and the two of them. Just the two of them. Yeah. And he didn't apologize. I wish he had said, I'm sorry that I offended you. And uh, that was not my intentions. But I would rather him take his time, put thoughts together, put time in this. And because I believe he was sincere, Skip, I, I really do. Um, but Cam losing an endorsement over being condescending and dismissive of a female reporter seems like a stretch. They basically, it's basically Cam got three years in prison for going 15 miles an hour over the speed limit. Really? Yes. Mm. That, that, that I disagree with, but go ahead. Let me ask you a question. Had he made that same dismissive comment to a male journalist, does he lose his endorsement? No, but help me out here, Joy. Dan and yogurt is purchased mostly by women. women. Yeah, I think the whole marketing direction was with the black labels to kind of make it more look more masculine and mm -hmm. yeah but here's the thing though skip i don't believe it had i don't believe this is why they dismissed it i believe they dismissed him because of what he did on sunday because although he did not kneel for the anthem he did not sit for the anthem he did raise his fist after he scored that touchdown and see it's like you come up on an exit too fast you miss it, you say, well, i just get the next one. See, that exit came up on Dannon too fast because he gave no indication that he oh, would. Oh, so you think Dannon dismissed him more for the race uh, fist than uh, the... Of course. Uh, all this, all the condescending remarks did was provide cover. Because if you dismiss him because he voiced his uh, First Amendment right, people are going to be looking at you like, well, hold on, wait a minute. I mean, you say, you know, you for equality and gender equality and all this, and now you try to suppress a man's First Amendment right. There's no question in my mind. He was dismissive. He was condescending. But you tell me that's a terminationable, that's, that's ground for termination? Now, I guess theoretically, Fox could dismiss me if I warm up fish in the microwave. But that wouldn't be the reason. There are going to be other underlying reasons that led to this. If Cam had a history of being misogynistic, being sexist, mm -hmm. I get it, Skip. I'm all in with them. Yeah, Cam, you had this. This was a long time coming, Cam. Cam has shown no indication of that. And for a one-off, you're saying because he was dismissive of a female reporter asking him. Wow, it's funny. <laughs> it's funny that a, a female talking about routes. That's grounds for termination? Yeah, you said following day that you found it very offensive, yes! right? And I, if, in fact, 
Cam managed to alienate women everywhere, and almost half the NFL fans are female. And I don't know what percentage buy Dan and yogurt of the female. It's probably hot. I'm going to guess. Well, I, I tell, well, how about this, Skip? I saw, I heard a guy on tape talk about grabbing hoo ha, and he still got 53 percent of the female female vote. Okay, but that's a whole nother issue to this oh. because we both agreed that there are probably a whole lot of men out there who agreed with Cam Newton's take, you know, his, yeah. his sort of mindset. On yeah, that and issue. I'm sure there are women out there that yeah. agree with Cam Newton's take. Maybe. Yeah. 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 There, are so? there are some. There are some. Yeah. Skip, okay. you know. <laughs> but again, it's, Shannon, it's always yeah. the bottom line yeah. is the bottom line. Yeah. If you threaten somebody's revenue, I they're going to cut ties, man. Yeah, but I, I don't think, if, if, I don't think of it as a one-off. Skip, he didn't call a B. But, he didn't call but, out But just remember, name. on the protest side, I never associated Cam with that. I mean, obviously, Colin what, Kaepernick okay. was the face of the movement. He is, but, but let me ask you a question. Cam never was what does a raise kneeler, fist, right? What does raise fist mean? When a black man raises his fist, what is that, Skip? Because that was the first sign when John Carlos and Tommy Smith did it in 68. The Black Panthers adopted that. Or maybe the Black Panther started it. But when you see I got it, it, but that was a long time ago. Yeah, but that's still there the, with the protest. That, that was more subtle to me. It was like subtly powerful, but not yeah. overtly yeah. in your face powerful. Exactly. But how do, but how do, maybe. how did they? I mean, I, I can't, I can't disagree because I don't know. Yeah. Because maybe nobody really knows. No, no, no. That that is my yeah. opinion. But it just seems to me that being dismissive and condescending of a female's question yeah um i don't believe that was a fireable offense that's just me now if he had a history if cam had, done, had been doing this all throughout his entire career yeah. and it finally caught up with him like it's a third strike third yeah, fourth yeah. Yeah, yeah i get it but skip let's be real let's be all the way real now let's keep this 100 you and i both know black men and women and athletes are held to a different standard i we kn i do not doubt that we I'm know we know yeah. Mm -hmm. that they're held more accountable for their actions. They're held more accountable for their comments. You and I both know, had Serena Williams got ensnared in what Maria Sharapova, because everybody's saying, how is she more dominant in her 30s than she were in her teens and 20s? There's no way. There's no way. She's winning championships at three months pregnant. Mm -hmm. She's the most dominant female tennis player ever, and she became that in her 30s when in her 20s and teens, she wasn't nearly as dominant. Got we it. know that. Yep. So what Cam said, I, I got no problem with Cam apologizing. Cam was absolutely wrong for what he said. But I do not believe, and I believe many people do not believe, this is a fireable offense. They're well within their rights. They have the right to do whatever they want to. They hired him. They have a right to terminate him. But, Skip, it's hard for me to believe that this one-off was grounds for termination. Mm. I will say this about the Dannon commercial. The first time I saw it, I was like, Cam's doing a Dan and Yogurt commercial? It, it was like jarring to me because yeah. it didn't seem to fit because I always thought of that product as more consumed by females than males. Well, but, I, but like to your point, they're they're trying to market to males. Well, well males. normally when I'm in the yeah. grocery store, I see a lot of females putting that in their bags. Yeah. The, bla the, 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 the black Cam Newton? The, well, no, just the, the yogurt, oh, the yogurt, yogurt section. You don't eat yogurt? Oh, you're not on dairy right now. No, I'm more, I'm, I, I'm, I do eat yogurt, but go ahead. I love yogurt. Yeah, I mean, you're not as healthy as I am. I don't eat yogurt. Oh, now I'm you're healthy. A, I'm healthy. Now yeah. you're healthy. Whoa, whoa, whoa. You Hold on. Me? Don't you know? You just made the most outrageous, <laughs> wrong statement in the history of Undisputed. But let's get back to, <laughs> back to business. I, I, I really liked his delivery of this apology. Yeah, it was, but, but he, I, we talked yesterday. This is a charismatic young man. Very. He's got star power. He can be extremely convincing. So I don't know what's in his heart. I can't open it up and look inside right. and see. But I was impressed with just the, the pure delivery of, I don't know if he had a teleprompter, if he had cue cards. It didn't look like it because no. he would kind of glance down and gather his next thought. Mm -hmm. And it was powerfully, effectively delivered because we've all done things straight, as they say, to camera. Correct. Hard. Yeah, it is. It's hard to stay on track. Mm -hmm. Keep your, your, yes. your thread going. Mm -hmm. And he went right home and, and he delivered. So I give you all that. I, it, it sounded sincere. Every thought was a really good thought, except the very first thought when 
it's the classic, if I offended you, you know, well, you do it. You do it. You do it. So clearly, you know, right, you did. Okay. Now, this is this is the newest phenomenon to me in all my years in the media business. This is the new media golden rule that's sort of taken shape in the last 10 or so years. And it is if you apologize, it's OK. Like you can absolve yourself of all sins if you just apologize. Oh, just apologize. Right. Oh, then you're off the hook. You're good. No, you're not good. No. I'm sorry. I, I like the apology, but the cynic in me wonders, well, did it take losing Dannon to apologize? Did it take a night of backlash for you to say, your advisors to come to you and say, oh, my God, you've created a firestorm here. That's why I wish he had apologized immediately. Sure. Once she came right. to him, he okay. should have apologized. But clearly, he did not think there was anything to apologize for in the beginning because that was just his sort of mindset. Okay, we get it. It's the mindset of probably a whole lot of players in a lot of locker rooms. Yes. But for some reason, because I think he was feeling re-empowered in his weekly media session, on which he had sat on a hot seat for about the last year and a quarter. Yes. And, and he felt good about himself, because he should have. He had a big game against Tom Brady up in Foxborough. Right. And he was, he was back. That was, that was an MVP-style yes. game. And he won the MVP two years ago, obviously. Right. And I feel like he, he, he was coming across as, I'm back in control here, so I can... I'll take a little aside here. The Superman cam yeah, was back. Yeah, he was back. He was. He was doing a little of this. Just a quick aside. I'll, I'll drop a little knowledge on you. I'm, I'm amused that you would say that, that mm -hmm. you would talk about routes. And, and it just exploded in a way that he didn't see coming because that was his mindset. He revealed his mindset. Right. Okay, fine. So... The, the apology doesn't eliminate that. And I'm going to go to the, the most severe one was the Riley Cooper one. Yes. Okay. Riley Cooper was captured on cell video at a country western concert. Correct. Screaming the N-word that ends in a hard E-R at black security people who had hassled him at this concert. I'll fight all the, and he made it plural. Okay. Now, again, you, you what's the old? cliche, to err is human, to forgive is divine. I get that. You forgive him, but you, you can't just wipe the slate right. clean because he apologizes for that. Well, as you said, he, he said he'd had a couple drinks, but truth serum, right? Yeah. Yes. So you revealed your heart. Cam revealed a part of his heart. Now, what Riley Cooper did was several cuts deeper than what Cam Absolutely. did. There's not, even, not close, even close. But, but I'm just showing you that this is another indication of that new phenomenon because people were telling me, well, at least he apologized. At least he apologized for using the N-word publicly? Right. Seriously? Mm -hmm. it, it doesn't wipe your slate clean. No. And it doesn't wipe this slate clean because I, I think, you know, was he enlightened by this? I don't know. Actions will speak going forward Correct. louder than words. But in the end, I don't know whether to buy it or not because I'm skeptical of the timing of it. That's all. If he'd done it that night, maybe? Yeah. Before Dan and called? You remember, yeah. Skip, I, I said yesterday, I thought once his press conference was over and he and her, she engaged him one-on-one, -on -one, ma'am, clearly you were offended by my comments. I apologize. That was not my intentions. She could have, re I, I talked to Cam afterwards, he apologized, all is good. But when she tweeted out, I talked to Cam a afterwards, and he didn't apologize, it, and she made it seem like he seemed cavalier. He was even more dismissive that even though he said what he had said, how dare you come approach me now? So it, it just kept going. Skip, when you offer an apology, no, you can't, do, you can't undo what's been done. You can't make someone unhear what they've already heard. Yep. It's kind of like being in the courtroom. Objection, sustained. The jury's already heard it. So whether they should strike it, you can't make them strike what they've already heard. Cam said what he said. He's offering an apology, saying, my bad. I erred. And so please forgive me. Mm -hmm. I'm not at date. You don't have to forget it. But just get, forgive me for my actions and moving forward. I'm going to show you this is not who I am and this won't happen again. Mm -hmm. But skip. We've seen athletes do much worse. No doubt. Got it. Skip, he was dismissive. I can see if he called her a B. I can see if he called her out of her name. Being dismissive now? Hold on, really. Now, Skip, now you know 
sometimes, you know, this PC and all that, I, I, I believe there, there are lines that you shouldn't cross. But Skip, it's hard for me to get there. It's hard for me to be here and to get all the way here for dismissive and condescending comment. Okay, I, I got you. But just remember, like if we go back to the Donald Sterling comments, yes. those were surreptitiously taped by his girlfriend. But right? what did Donald okay. Sterling have? A history. Yeah, a history. Good, good point. But in this case, it wasn't like Cam was caught by a bystander on cell phone video making disparaging remarks about women. Yes. It wasn't like a, an acquaintance of his said for a New York Times story, oh, you wouldn't believe he has no respect for women at all. Right. It wasn't like that. He did it to himself yes. before the world. You know, he's at his weekly press session. It wasn't even a one-on-one -on -one interview. It was, he's doing, I think they said there are 30 reporters yes. in the room. Yes, it's okay. normal, normal that yeah. the quarterback gets the podium and yeah. one other player. My last couple of years in Denver, it was Greasy, Plummer, and I was the other guy that always spoke really? at the podium. Really? Yes. That's interesting. Okay, at the podium. I'm Skip, I want you to look, think about this now. I want you, I want you to think. A guy lost a multi-million dollar contract for condescending remarks, being dismissive because of a female in a male-dominated profession in a hyper-masculine sport. He was dismissive. And they thought that was enough, that was an egregious enough act to say, you know, it warrants termination. Skip, I just have a hard time getting there. I'm not trying to excuse Cam uh, uh, from doing from okay. saying what he said. There's no excuse. And he, I don't think he offered one. He apologized. He, I don't believe in mistakes. Like I said, mistakes mm -hmm. is leaving your briefcase in the back of your rental car. He misspoke. He should have never said that. Maybe that's in his heart. Maybe that's who he is. Maybe that's what he believed. But Skip, with no prior history of this kind of behavior, and to make that leap from a multi-million dollar endorsement to say, you know what, you were condescending of women. You know what? I don't think it, it warrants termination. I just can't get there. Joy, maybe you, you're a female, you're in this profession, you know how hard it is for females to work in this profession, and maybe you can say, you know, Shannon, I don't know, Shannon, I, 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 I've experienced and a lot of friends of mine that work in this business, but it's hard for me to leap there, Joy. No, I hate that he lost his endorsement. I don't, I don't think that it's fair or necessary for them to pull his endorsement. But going back to the beginning, like Skip said, it's not like this was in some back hallway and she yeah. reported it. He said it in front of a room full of people down barrel to the camera. Mm -hmm. It's on him, first of all. It's on the Panthers organization for not taking care of it immediately. As soon as they saw the tweet, they should have went to him and said, hey, go and contact her and apologize to her. Explain to her that you didn't mean to, to be condescending. Fix it. No. It, no. It's fixable. Remember there was a conflict. The, the, the team immediately, what did they do, the, tweet that, said that, that, he had, he, that he had regret. And then she tweeted. He had no regret. I mean, how many times okay. do people misspeak and offend people? We yeah. don't have the playbook for this now. No. I, you, you apologize, but do it in, in a way that it doesn't become a, a, an international story. But the bigger picture is this. And this, this is a big problem, because I agree with you. You should not have lost his endorsement. That is a overreaction that sponsors have to this outrage culture. But if, you, if you're if you bothered by outrage culture, with, which in some way we all are, we don't like when people get the pitchforks and start marching down the street for someone mm -hmm. for saying something wrong. It's very simple. If you say something that offends someone, if I said something that offended you. Yes. I bring it to your attention. And I would say, I'm sorry. Thank you. I didn't mean to offend you. What, what, what was it that I said that offended you? You would tell me. Yes. I would say, well, I look at it this way, or I see how you feel that way. I won't speak that way anymore. Yeah. It's done. It's solved. It's right. really that simple. You but that off but nobody path. acts that way agree. anymore. It's all, it's all more about, I have to be right. I have to mold this story to fit my narrative. It's more important that I say that I'm right and that you agree with me than just apologizing oh, and you, sincerely having a conversation with another human about what you did wrong. But this comes across as damage control, yeah. right? Second day damage Sure, and I, and I buy his apology. I'm sure he is sorry. Yeah. And I don't like that he lost the endorsement. But throughout the entire world, that's the way to solve yeah. it. Everyone's complaining about people being PC and yeah. oversensitive. It's really easy. If you want people to stop being oversensitive and you want people to stop being so PC, when you do something that offends someone, say you're sorry. Yes. Uh, I, that's that's me. Skip, you know, we, I had a, we had a, we taped last week on Saturday. Yeah. And I've been to you, Skip, and I've been to a few other people. I called them. I said, I'm sorry. I said, I was in a, I was, I said, I just needed someone to vent to. You, you were venting because we were having to, quote, unquote, work on Saturday. Work on Saturday okay. afternoon gotcha. when I had previous I, I plans. Know, I got it. And I called a few people. I said, I'm sorry. They didn't, hey, the next morning, I woke up, it was that night, I woke up.
Yeah. And I apologized to him. And I apologized again when I saw, I called him. But I, when I saw him, I apologized again. Because you were I, afraid you're going to lose your cigar. In <laughs> <laughs> no, because I, I just I, it was just you know you know how I am. And I, yeah. you were the first person. You, and I told you, you I said, Skip, I'm you, sorry. You, you, but I said I just wanted someone to vent. To. Okay. Listen, none of us are perfect. We and no. none of us have the same experiences as everyone else. No. We don't all come from the same place, and sometimes we're ignorant to how other people feel. It's really not that hard. Just be a little bit, just a little bit kind, just a little bit, well, and then it all gets solved. My grandma said, "Boy, say you're sorry, I'm gonna cut your ass." <laughs> I'm sorry, so I'm, so, I'm, I'm sorry. So I learned at a very young age, it's apologize simple. when you do something wrong. Well, Aaron Rodgers and the Packers go to Dallas and beat the Cowboys on Sunday. Skip and Shannon make their picks next.